Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Aftar The Last Airbender episode number 5 and 6. Uh, okay, so, oh, book 2, I forgot to mention that. Okay, so um, the previous two episodes, uh, they had, uh, the first episode, uh, the third episode was when we went and met Boomy and there was a little bit of a uh, fight that broke out in the middle of it. We got to see three new, not three, two new characters and how like and you can see that they're pretty strong as well and like it, it, the the situation is looking more what can i say uh dangerous than the first season because the first season the only one who was really like you know uh, like against uh ang was uh zhao and zuko was there as well but uh, trying to catch him as well and uh, he, currently zuko is not obviously trying to catch the avatar because he himself has his own problems to deal with but now we have two not not two three people who are actually trying to catch ang and who were very strong on their own so i think this is more dangerous you know and also um like i don't know uh, azula seems a lot more aggressive so yeah that and also like bumi got captured but bumi said something about being neutral i think he said a neutral something I can't remember the term he used but you know like it's like like it's like waiting and observing so he says that uh, you find a teacher who has perfected that so ang needs to find a new earth bending teacher and the next episode the fourth episode we had uh, a run in with the swamp people and they are waterbenders as well they've been living there all that stuff the swamp was like like a living swamp and that was that but the main thing there is like in the end we see a person wearing a mask who like you know who went for, like you know who i don't know what he did like uh i don't think he killed him but you know kind of hurt him uh the guy who was making fun of um iro and uh zuko so the mask that he's wearing is i think the same mask that zuko wore when he saved Anne. So I'm not sure who that person is, but let's see. I'm sure we'll get our answers. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. This is episode number five of After the Last Airbender, book two. So I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. All right. So here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. <clears throat> Hmm. Hmm. Okay. And I think I should Take this off, yes, to avoid spoilers. Oh boy. So Ang needs to go and find a teacher. Now, this is the fifth episode. So I think this season also has 20 episodes or something. I'm not sure how many episodes this season has, but close to that, I'm guessing. So yeah, there's a lot of time left. So I'm guessing they'll be able to find the teacher and then obviously you know, start. Earth bending. After day, what? Wait. Oh, is this like a. Whoa, what the hell? Whose mouth is that? Oh no! Oh my god! That's. Ah! What? The, the, the... <laughs> How long has he been sleeping that a spider? Whoa, whoa, what the? Are these the Fire Nation people? <laughs> yeah, run. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, good. Nice.
Whoa, whoa, whoa. It started in a very <laughs> violent way. Oh, Ang, make a barrier or something. Okay, there you go. Huh, nice. Whoa. Oh, no. Okay, Saka. Oh, wow. <laughs> Poor Sokka. Ah, he needs to find a new boomerang. <laughs> Arrow. Um. <laughs> Ponytail guy. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Whoa, okay. Oh, there's a festival. <laughs> the, the smile in their face. And he's an avatar here. Oh, yeah, cute. Okay, nice. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's him. Oh, everyone knows. Okay, obviously everyone knows that he's the new avatar, so. Oh no, I'm having a bad... I'm having a bad... feeling. I'm having a bad feeling. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of thought. I kind of thought. As soon as I saw the torch, I knew it. Something bad is going to happen. And yeah, it's not an appreciation festival. This is a opposite. Whoa, whoa, what the? Oh, it's, a... it's the same person we saw before. No, I don't think that's uh, uh, Zuko. Who is it? Wait, it is Zuko. Oh! Oh yeah, he is, um... Oh boy. Oh great. Yeah. Oh boy. Um... My friend. Yeah. What the hell is wrong with the people here? Yeah, that's pretty apparent. What? What? Um, <laughs> God, yeah, wow, so mature. <laughs> Oh, great. What? Oh. Oh, great. God. <laughs> Must. Yeah.
Uh, no way it's true, but... Oh, Saka? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Wow. <laughs> okay, okay. New props. What the? <laughs> oh, great. Okay, what's... Whoa, what the? Yeah, it's Zuko. Okay, I never... Obviously, but... Uh, like, you know... Iroh is in need for the... <laughs> what? 300 years... Okay, this guy's m must be trolling. Okay, that's Jin. Wait. Uh... Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Whoa, whoa, what the? Where did you get that from? Okay. Oh, there's another person here. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, we need more information here. Um, what? What the? What's happening to with him? Okay. <laughs> Fanboy. Angie. <laughs> He's like, okay. What? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. All right. Okay. And don't touch. Yeah. <laughs> oh. And how tall was she? Oh yeah, the footprint. Yeah, she. He's supposed to solve it. Yes. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. But still not enough proof, I guess. 
Um, we need something more, something more decisive. <laughs> They're good friends now. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, he's crying. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. Hmm. Whoa. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Th this. Oh, yeah. If, if she was here, she couldn't be there. Yes. <laughs> what? Oh, great. These guys are, um, oh, yeah, great. Oh, wow. Haha! <laughs> Puns! Great! <laughs> A perfect way <laughs> to judge your crime. <laughs> um, yes. Yes, facts. Um. <laughs> you know, you had in your previous life, not now. Yeah. Oh, boy. No. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Yeah, like. Yeah, what what will you do now? Hmm. Yeah, he needs some time, obviously. God. Okay. Okay. How? Oh. Wait a minute. Is that mm, maybe? <laughs> All right, come on, hang, tap into. <laughs> Oh god. Whoa whoa whoa! What the?
Um, was that supposed to happen? Okay. Okay. Oh, what the hell? Like, Kyoshi is so tall, that means. Oh my god. Wait. How did she kill him then? Oh. Okay. Oh boy. Oh wow, look at that. Oh my god. But where? Oh, is this how he dies? It was not even Kyoshi's fault. What the hell? Okay. Well, there you go. Yeah, but that's, that's not her fault. What the hell? Like, what the? <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> Momo. What? Oh, come on. Oh, God. Zuko? <clears throat> ah. Um. Mm. Community service. Oh no. Boiling in water? Oh, oil. Uh Oh Whoa Wait who's that? Oh great Yeah leader <laughs> Wow No, not even that. No. Wow, these guys are selfish as heck. What is... Oh. <laughs> nice. Rough rhino. Oh no, they're burning the whole place. God. Okay, well... Oh, water bending. Come on. There you go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sa Saka needs his boomerang. Suck. Oh! Ooh! Whoa! Run, Saka! Okay. Oh, there you go. Oh, they found it. Nice. There you go. <laughs> uh. <laughs> An effective way of fighting. Oh, 
Okay. Ooh. Oh, nice. Oh. Oh. Good. There you go. <laughs> Rough rhino invasion. What the? Oh, great. Well, happy ending, I guess. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ooh, well, that was something. All right, is that the end? All right, um, that is the end. Just a sec, guys. Yeah, that's the end. So, okay, so this episode, this is episode number five, yes, episode five. And, uh, <laughs> and gets accused here obviously of uh one of uh the what can i say like one of the things he did in his past life which was not even something that you know uh kiyoshi did herself like it was just like by the end of it we saw that it was just her you know uh breaking the two land masses apart moving further away and Jin basically was at the wrong place at the wrong time and he I'm guessing he fell to his death so that was not even her fault and everyone is like oh like after our, like killed him and all that kind of like stuff and like <sighs> like <laughs> I have nothing to say about this <laughs> like like thinking about it like that like something that th this episode that the thing that this episode showed us it's not only in anime stuff like this actually happen in the real world as well like people getting accused of something that he or she supposedly did with no proof whatsoever and you know just because some weird reason and like <laughs> like one one thing is i think like you know the thing the reason why these episodes kind of feel a lot more uh what can i say uh like, happy in a way because even though the whole th situation was kind of grim uh it felt a lot happy because it of the like you know the way avatar the episodes of avatar kind of play out with its comedy like you know they really like mix the comedy well with even serious situations like this. not only did in this episode and a lot of other episodes as well i've noticed this you can even during some really uh, grim situation uh, the comedy really lightens everything up and by the end of it uh, everything kind of works out well so like it was similar like you know, like similar to this episode where here Aang basically gets falsely accused of something and uh, because of the comedy where we see suddenly like you know Aang becoming friends with the prisoners there <laughs> talking about Katara <laughs> and, and then like you know with small little like you know funny stuffs here and there and uh, it, it made the whole situation very uh what can i say uh light and very um you know what can i say harmless in a way so by the end of it we can be like okay like let bygones be bygones uh, i think that's the word yeah <laughs> and uh like you know let everything like you know like it's okay like they did a little mistake before tried to accuse the avatar but now everything everyone is like you know happy for him because he saved the village and yeah like it's water on the bridge like everything's well but like you know i'm, I'm sure if the comedy like, you know if the light-hearted comedy was not included in these type of episodes i doubt a lot of people would really be able to forgive these people because it was basically they were trying to kill him just because of a so-called uh supposedly something happened in his past life and they were not even listening to him and like you know their sense of justice is like i'm going to tell my story you're going to tell your story then i'm going to decide which is right which is wrong 
because it is just is means just us wow okay <laughs> like, you know like these type of small little like you know comedy scenes really lighten the whole situation uh otherwise like you know like i don't think i'm sure like you know uh, i don't think us as spectators a lot of them won't really be able to forgive them by the end of it if uh there was no comedy in, in, included in it if the whole situation was really grim and uh, bad i don't think like this will be so easily be yeah, this will so easily be uh, easily be digestible by the end of it so yeah that's one thing but you know as i said like you know uh, funny thing um, people like this really do exist in the real world where a person actually doesn't even try to listen to the other party and claims that he's right without having any uh, like proof himself like you know kind of acting like the uh, like you know acting like this guy was doing like you know he's like okay like whatever i'll say will be uh, like you know the real like uh, the, the right thing and i'll decide which is right which is wrong this type of character like there really does exist real people like that so <laughs> you know like but that's you know real life so nothing can be said anyways okay so this episode um okay so here we see now <laughs> at the beginning when they they were like uh, like are you going to the avatar avatar day the avatar festival and i was like okay nice like you know like there's like an avatar festival happening and then <laughs> it suddenly started nagging in my head and i thought that is this really so simple like, you know like is this really a festival that's happening there must be some kind of twist and as soon as i saw the torch guy holding a torch i was like oh boy i can i can feel where this is going and yep <laughs> it it became like that he he went through the like you know statues or those things and like burned the whole thing down and that's the avatar day it is not something positive but something negative and <laughs> yeah all right okay and then uh okay that was the whole avatar section uh zuko here now zuko one thing um at the beginning i was like you know like when he started robbing people i was like okay maybe this is really not zuko because i don't see him doing stuff like this but then when he comes back and gives those to io i i actually realized why he was doing this you know um because um, like obviously they're in poverty and they need stuff and Zuko and he, I'm sure like you know Zuko knows that Iroh will do nothing of this sort you know he'll do nothing of this sort so he himself kind of took the whole you know responsibility of the situation and decided to dirty his own hands so that like you know he and Iroh can have a good meal or something but you know uh, and like as Iroh said that you know this is just a phase of our life like everything will be fine just like give it a little bit of time but um obviously zuko is a lot younger and he is a lot less experienced than iro iro has seen a lot of things and is very wise very what can i say experienced so obviously like the as easily as iro would be able to accept the situation zuko won't be able to so by the end um as zuko said like you know i need to go on my own and i need to start traveling on my own um in a way i think that will be kind of beneficial for zuko in in certain ways but at the same time it will kind of bad for him as well because the thing that is going to like you know the the good thing that's going to happen for him actually uh traveling alone is he will be able to make own decisions you know uh take on his own judgment make his own judgment and that will help him become a lot more experienced and mature at a lot quicker rate I think that's what's going to happen and that's how it's going to help him but there also comes a problem with this the problem is he might start walking on the wrong path again you know like like if Iroh was with him I'm sure that wouldn't happen but since Iroh is not with him he might again start walking the wrong path and that's the bad thing that can come out of this like there as I said like you know there's a good thing that could happen and a bad thing that could happen so I don't know and like that's like and that's that and another thing that i really feel bad about is iro like uh, obviously we can see that iro like you know like zuko is like his son to iro and i think in one of the episodes he also said like you know like i see you as my son so it feels bad actually to see him depressed after zuko goes on his way you know 
because they've been traveling for so long and i really is so fond of zuko and like you know treats him like his own son so suddenly like this like you know when zuko said that i'm going to travel on my own um yeah uh, kind of feel bad for him in a way uh, but who knows like you know like good either like you know good can come out of this or the bad something bad can come out of this hopefully it's something good and zuko actually finds his own path and realizes what he should do after this so and this is another thing you know like as he said like what am i supposed to do he was asking iro you know like i need to catch the avatar and this is what actually happens like same with revenge you know like revenge and this whole thing of you know like having a single goal throughout your life it is good in a way and also bad in a way the good thing is like you know like if you have only a single goal you're more determined enough you 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 know like you you, you go for it with more uh, what you can what you can call it like you know go for it for with more um uh like you know what can i say like you're more serious about it about that one thing because that's the only thing for you and usually that is very helpful to actually reach that goal so having a single goal in your life is important in that way and it's also disadvantages in another way is if somehow you are unable to reach that goal you have nothing to do in your life you know you you become lost this is what happened here he had the same one single goal of catching the avatar and now that that's gone he is confused as to what he should do now so he needs to he needs to find the answer on his own and hopefully everything you know it goes well so yeah okay another thing i wanted to mention here is um the one thing i, I kind of realized uh suki um like obviously we know that uh saka kind of kind of liked suki i'm guessing like you know you know in a way and suki also kind of like i remember with the previous episode when she kissed him and uh <clears throat> you know like you know that obviously means that saka kind of has a little fond like, you know fondness for suki and vice versa i think i guess and similar like you know to ua where she really was like you know, he really liked ua as well before now the thing that i actually realized here is um as i said like you know ua i think uh, it means moon and suki you know i kind of realized suki also means moon in japanese so you know suki so it's interesting to actually notice here that both the people who actually saka has like you know really likes has their name as like you know is related to the moon so that's just something you know <laughs> oh boy okay anyways that's just something i noticed in this episode <clears throat> all right and another thing that obviously happened the main uh you know uh thing in this episode was the uh after kyoshi coming in and like you know, I'm, I'm guessing kind of showing herself in front of everyone and uh like you know trailing her part of the story and we got to know and i'm sure like you know she, like you know like because ang was in a problem there in a pinch there she actually came and helped her him out but unfortunately it didn't work <laughs> by the end of it like you know the the fire nation actually coming and trying to uh like you know take their uh, village was the thing that actually made <laughs> you know made him uh, made them change their mind and like as i say like you know all all swell that ends well hopefully everything went well and happy ending i guess you know <laughs> uh boy even they they even though they had to actually like realize this through a process like this you know like the financial had to come and attack them otherwise they wouldn't even listen to ang so ang helping them in that situation kind of made them change their mind so yeah but anyways <laughs> okay was there something else that i missed oh uh, saka gets his boomerang back and uh what else let's see oh we got a few little bit of information about after kyoshi as well some new information about her and uh yeah that's it so okay that was episode number five so okay just a sec um yeah without wasting any more time let's get started with episode six and uh 
All right, I'll be putting in the subtitles and the timer here, sync it to whichever is your preference, and let's get started. This is episode number six of Avatar The Last Airbender, book two. So here's the countdown. Three, two, one. <coughs> okay. Okay, now let's take this off. Okay. Oh, the blind bandit. Okay. <laughs> Is that a... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Poor Saka. Ah, we've all been there, I know. Oh. What? Master you. Oh, maybe you can find a teacher. Yeah. Let's check him out. Um What the ang? <laughs> Don't do that. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> Subscription. <laughs> yeah. Folder. Oh, okay. None. <laughs> what? <laughs> is, is this the origin of the meme? The whole lig <laughs> ligma meme? What? <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> nice. Momo has a. Okay, she found it out. Yeah, I can get. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh no. The yeah. This is why. Yeah. Oh, nice. Six. Jinfu. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, nice. Big bad hippo. Whoa. <laughs> oh yeah, he looks like a hippo. Oh. Oh, hippo mad. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> hippo doesn't care. 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> nice. People more mad. Oh. Come on, throw it. There you go. He won. Mm, yeah. True. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh boy. Uh <laughs> Wow, Saka is really invested. Whoa. Oh boy. Ha. <laughs> Saka. <laughs> oh, what is this? Oh. Oh. A boulder is winning one by one. What? Oh. Oh, she's. It's a girl or it's a boy? Oh, that, it's a girl. And, and she's a champion. Wait, he, she's the champion. Oh! The pebble! Whoa! Oh wait, was this the girl? That he met uh, in the... Okay. Oh, then this must be the earthbending teacher he's going to... Whoa! Whoa! Oh, that's how he... She actually... Feels people to the vibrations. Yeah. And she listens because... Oh! Oh, oh no, oh no! Ugh. Oh, nice. Wow. Short and effective. Okay, she's the one. There you go. Oh, come on, Ang! Ang! There you go. Okay. <laughs> Avenge the boulder. Oh boy. She is um brutal. Saka. <laughs> Oh, there you go. <laughs> Light on his feet. <laughs> oh yeah, he, he, he can just fly around, I guess. But the vibrations will still, oh. Oh, whoa, he, 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 he defeated her. Oh! Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Um. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. 
<laughs> wow, Saka. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> mm. Word. Mystery. Oh no. Uh. Oh. Pet boar. Payphone. Hmm. What? All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? Whoa, what the hell? All right. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that she would be able to realize that it's them because she's a master outbender. Okay, there. Twinkle toes. <laughs> yeah. Uh Uh run oh her name is stuff <laughs> what Oh. Beginner's level. <laughs> the avatar, yes. Uh <laughs> Oh, okay, I can realize like she, she's very, what can I say, um, pam not pampered, but like cared for. Yeah, so I need your daughter's help. Yeah. Finest teacher. Uh, yeah, she doesn't want anyone to know that she is actually fighting these tournaments. Oh, because of that, she will become the true master. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow, they're not even bothered by that. <laughs> nice. Okay, she's here. 
<laughs> okay. Hmm. Yeah. Wow, he can't even find it, yeah. <clears throat> well, yeah, but she, she's their only daughter, you know. Hmm. Well, the parents won't allow her. <sighs> Oh, someone's here? What? Who would even ambush them? Oh, Zing! Oh, yeah, that guy. What the? Whoa! Uh, shut up. Whoa. Wait, how? <sighs> Wait, how much was the reward? Uh, what about Ang? Oh, wow, great! Yeah! Well, time to... Yeah. Time to make some noise here. <laughs> uh... Uh ah uh. ooh <laughs> Well, mess with the wrong people. Yeah. Oh, is there a trap or something? Okay. Okay. Whoa, what is she doing? Okay. <laughs> the, the surprise, obviously. Yeah, that won't work. <laughs> Boy, look at that. <laughs> Whoa, what is ah? <laughs> wow. Oh, nice. <laughs> well, three of them. All right, let's go. <laughs> oh. 
The boulder and the hippo. Heartbender, yes. <laughs> oh, oh, nice. <laughs> there you go. Well, she fights smartly. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Yeah, he's pretty strong, I think. Oh, no, never mind. Oh, oh! Whoa! Whoa, that's cool! And he, he, he okay. Well, <laughs> okay, his dad now realizes. Hmm. Oh, she's 12. Quite young. But Ang is like 15, I think. Hmm. What? Wait. Isn't this supposed to go the other way? Uh... Oh god... No, I don't... Like, he saw her in his vision. <laughs> Still has the belt. Okay, yeah. <laughs> she came. Wait, really? I don't think so. Did she, did she like sneak out or something? I think... I think so. I think she sneaked out. Oh! Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Wait. There you go. She snack out. Yeah, she snuck out. There you go. Well, obviously, her dad won't listen this easily. Like, we saw him. Oh, great. Now we have a new friend. Yes. So, obviously, he's, she's... Oh, no, that's the end. She's going to be the new earthbending teacher for Aang. And, uh, yeah, that's, I think that's the best outcome we could have gotten out of this. So... <clears throat> okay, so, now, here's the thing. Um, obviously, like, we can see how strong she is. And it kind of, like, you know, uh, what can I say, like, like, it kind of feels bad to say this, but I think, like, her being blind is the, the like, you know, is, is the biggest reason why she was able to reach this level. Because, you know, uh, as they say, like, if you, like, you know, if you're blind, you are, like, a lot good at hearing, uh, at feeling, like, you know, all the other senses become more... Uh, prominent and <clears throat> like not only uh, like you know uh, f for blindness even like you know if, if you like cannot hear you know like uh, your eyesight becomes more better i think some stuff like that like you know like we get to hear from others so surely 
Like, as I said, it kind of feels bad to say this, but her becoming so good at earthbending is basically because of her blindness, in a way. And as um, uh, Bumi said, that you need to find someone who listens, who observes, who hears. And <clears throat> she's perfect for that. She, like, that's the only way she can do stuff. She can visualize the outside world through her <clears throat> feeling, through her hearing and smell, I guess, as well. So, yeah, so that's like, you know, that's why Toff is so good at earthbending because she has been doing this from her childhood, you know, uh, I think she has been, she, yeah, I think she, they did not mention it, but I'm guessing she has, she, she was uh, like, you know, blind from the beginning uh from her birth i'm not sure they did not mention anything like that but most probably so like you know like she had to learn everything from the beginning you know earth bending and actually her senses got more honed and yeah she is now at the level she is and people don't even know her you know like the dad and the mom has been keeping her <clears throat> in their house and like um like i like you know obviously like we get it what uh, we're from where the dad is coming like i'm sure <clears throat> you know seeing the child their only child blind uh must have made them what can i say more overprotective and you know like that's why she is like always under surveillance always in their in her house doesn't like you know is not allowed to go out and <laughs> the way everything was going you know, it felt as if, <laughs> like, they, they, like, you know, they, they like, really, like, you know, uh, <laughs> tricked us in a way. At least I got tricked. Like, I thought, like, they, they'll be, like, after seeing everything, that we, like, we'll be, like, okay, like, I've realized something. That I've kept you inside for too long. I've not let you experience the outside world. And I should, like, you know, uh, like, you know start being less overprotective because, you know, you have your own life. You can do what you want so go ahead but obviously like the dad was not like that the dad was like you know the opposite he said that we've been like you know letting you like you know giving you too much freedom so yeah 24 hour surveillance and uh, <clears throat> as i said like you know i can get from where they're coming uh, their parents and uh, you know and what else can i say even in this situation like but uh, like as they say like you know being protective is okay but being overprotective and hindering your child's what can i say growth is not something that you should do and like you no know, that's what they are kind of doing in a way but as i said i can blame them because number one she's 12 years old so that's another thing you know like <clears throat> obviously like uh, I doubt any parent will be like, oh, like you want to go and save the world? You're 12 year old blind girl. Yeah, you can do that. I, I doubt any parents can will be able to say something like that. So as I said, like I can't say much, like, you know, about against the parents because yeah, the, they're what they did is kind of normal in a way because as like, you know, she's 12. But yeah, like, no time. There's no time. And also, Toph herself wants to do it. So, yeah, like, I think she should. And, and obviously, like, she is so talented. Like, uh, keeping her in like this will waste everything she has. And she'll always be like that girl who is always, like, you know, sheltered and never gets to experience the outside world. So, yeah, in a way, it's. I guess good for tough in certain ways and but now the dad is like okay like we need to find him the after uh, kidnapped my daughter you're going to get this reward if you bring them back and etc etc so <clears throat> yeah but I, I doubt they'll be of much trouble you know the people uh, the dad actually hired because uh, I'm sure tough will be able to easily defeat them and we have Ang and Katara with us as well and Saka as well so I don't see any this becoming a bigger problem. The bigger problem here obviously is Azula. 
so yeah that's one thing now one thing i'm kind of thinking like how this can become a little more little more problematic if like if something like if something happens like this like you know if, if these two first people teams up with azula and you know they're like okay like we have a goal here our goal is to bring Toph back to our master uh to our employ uh, uh to our employer and your goal is to capture Aang. so let's work together you know if you guys uh, capture them you can keep Aang and you they can return Toph to us like they can come to an agreement like this you know azula and the other two uh, her uh, two of her friends and uh, these two person who has been hired by the dad so that's one way i can see this going you know because and they also know that uh, um ang is being uh, like you know, ang is the after and the fire nation is looking for him so i'm sure like i'm not sure if this is going to happen but there's a big possibility of this happening that them actually going and uh, uh you know like shaking hands with azula yeah that, that's that can happen obviously there's a big possibility so then it will become a problem you know because obviously like they are not alone they are going to uh you know cooperate with the fire nation and going to capture them that will be a big bigger problem but otherwise i don't see the both of them actually like you know posing any kind of problem for ang and his crew so yeah all right okay so this episode we get a little tournament here and it's really impressive to see Toph actually uh you know fight because like you know like every single thing like she has to feel from mm, you know, using her feelings using her sixth sense you can call it you know it's as if like you know as soon as some person is um moving on the land you know, the vibration comes to her feet she like you know detects everything makes like a small little blue not blueprint a sm yeah kind of like you know of the place and actually envisions where the certain person is and you know in a matter of seconds and and like you know does stuff accordingly you know fights accordingly so very impressive and obviously that is what made her this good at earthbending because every each and every time each and every single moment of her life she's using earthbending you know like that's definitely going to make you a lot more stronger than others so like one thing i wonder like i doubt she's the only blind person who is an earthbender you know so i wonder like if there's any other person who like you know in the earth nation who is an earthbender who has been blind from uh birth and if that person is as strong as Toph, you know like who knows like there definitely is someone like that like i doubt she is the only person like this so who knows you know it's kind of a thought that came into my mind but anyways and uh, yeah okay and what else mm. there's something else no i don't think so and we have that impressive fright fight we got no, Ang didn't even have to do anything. Toph took care of every one of them. Yeah, and we can see how strong she is. So she is, she'll definitely be perfect for teaching Ang. And uh, yeah. And when as soon as like you know, Toph was like, "Oh, my dad gave permission." <laughs> I was like, "Nah, something is wrong here," and I can feel it. Like I mean, I was sure like the dad wouldn't even listen to her and uh, like you know as overprotective the dad is so that's when i realized that nah the dad didn't give permission she actually snuck out and yeah that's what happened so <laughs> you know and uh, yeah and now we have two new people tracking them and as i said as as long as they're alone trying to do this alone nothing much will be a problem but if they somehow shake hands with the fire nation yeah that will be a problem then otherwise i don't see them actually you know being any threat to ang okay let's see if there is something mm. no i don't think so <laughs> top is kind of 
<laughs> brutal, you know, savage in a way. <laughs> oh boy. The way she answers, like, you know, like, she's kind of, uh, like, you know, retorting the others, you know, whenever they said something, she was like, oh, and like witty, like, you know, witty, witty ways to answer. Like, that's one thing that I, you know, like for a 12 year old, obviously, she's very intelligent. And uh, yeah, okay, so this is the sixth episode. Yeah, sixth episode. And we have found the Earthbender Master. So we have a lot of time. And um, sixth episode, I'm guessing 14 or 15 more episodes, something like that. So yeah, we have a lot more time to actually for Aang to learn earthbending and then I'm guessing um, in the next season, the season T, he's going to learn firebending. So and then I'm guessing the final battle will happen or something like that. So there's a lot of time, like, you know, 10, 12, like uh, 14, 15 episodes left for him to master earthbending. So I'm guessing like we're going to see more of, you know, Aang and Toph, them actually interacting, learning and uh you know and i'm I'm sure like qatar is also teaching ang water bending at the same time so i'm guessing by the end of this season ang will probably master water bending and earth bending at the same time or something like that is going to happen so yeah so all right so yeah guys that was it that was my reaction to uh after the last airbender episode uh see uh book two episode numbers five and six so if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to let me know i'll definitely check them out so yeah guys thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with another episode with two more episodes of after the last airbender book two so until then goodbye and have a nice day